Wow, Shalom Aleichem, everyone. It's wonderful to see a sea of beautiful people. You have a new seat, why don't you sit there? Huh? I mean, I have a lot of other people that would want it. Uh, a new soul? So, you have a new seat? Don't sit in the back of the class. Uh, I want to thank Rich Leonard for working very hard. It's been on my mind so much to try to get the Moshe Mayor, we have a seat for you. It's uh, trying to get people to have a place to sit. Um, so we, uh, first of all, welcome back Ruben Shannet. It's good to have you back. You were very missed. Uh, I see you still have a glow of Eretz Yisrael on you. Yes. It's good, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's, it shouldn't, you shouldn't wash your face too much. You know, you know. Um, we have a very, very exciting Shabbos coming up this Shabbos. The first Ofruf in the history of the Good Israel Bezev. And uh, to a wonderful Chatan, our Chosen, Chal Avram. I spoke twice this week already to the Kala. She's sounding like a real Kala. So it's, it's a big thing. Big thing, was giving a woman who's never been married a chance to have a life together. It's it's very very exciting. We're seeing magic. It's, it's beautiful magic that we're seeing here. Um, and we're going to be joined on, on Shabbos by Michal Avram's mother, who uh, is close to ninety, right? She is ninety. So again. I mean, this is, this is big stuff. 90-year-old woman, to be able to see her son go to the chuppah. Big things. Unfortunately, we had some sad news. 2.15 a.m. last night, Yossi Apachinsky's mother passed away. Uh, Yossi is going to be sitting shiva here. And uh, Dailam is alerted to the fact, one of our... Yossi is one of our very, very fine mispalim, and, uh, and uh, he's going to be sitting shiva here in Fairways. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, okay, here in Lakewood. I don't know if it, yeah, here in Lakewood. Uh, not in Fairways, here in Lakewood. But the, uh, we've given out the address, and it's available. Um, I know that Baruch went over there today to for Mincha Marv to see if uh, the shul could help out in any way for Shabbos. Um, I saw my uh, brother-in-law Shmuley for a few minutes. I guess he left. I saw his uh, radiant face in the back. I guess he... Um, we are uh, holding in the beginning of Masechtas Kedushin now and uh, we are holding at Mishnah Vav. Mishnah Vav. Uh, we're sponsored by the Fisher family, Lila Nishmas, Basi Bas Rabbit, Shlomo ben Avram Alevi, Perl Bas Ruvain, Lila Nishmas, Rab Moshe ben Rab David, Lefush Shalem from Yom Moshe ben Chai Sarf, the Schuss of Rab Yom ben Shmuel Malki Yudas, by Yom Klugman and family, the Refush Shalem for Mayor ben Chai Sara. They should have a refuel shalem and b'seich she'achel Yisrael. So Mishnah Vav starts off with talking about a kinyan that is akin to chalipin, and this doesn't work with money, and that's why the Mishnah starts off with an unusual uh, phrase: "Kol anaseh domim ba'acher." Anything that you have to evaluate how much it's worth when you. Uh, want to uh, uh, when you want to uh, use it to purchase something else now when it says you have to evaluate it what's worth that's coming to exclude money which you don't have to evaluate because you know how much it's worth so so if let's say I want to switch with Chaim Chaim has a horse to sell me and he wants to have my cow. 
So, Kevan Shezocha Zeh, as soon as Chaim uh, takes possession of the cow, Nischayev Zeh Bechalifov. I'm responsible for the exchange. As soon as Chaim takes possession of the cow, then I am responsible for the horse, wherever it is. Anything happens to it, now it's my responsibility. That's the way of saying, it's mine. Shor if we exchange an ox with a cow, or a donkey with an ox, as soon as uh, Chaim takes hold of the ox, or takes hold of the donkey, so I'm responsible for the cow, I'm responsible for the ox. Kevin Shezochazeh, as soon as he acquires the uh, ox or the donkey, Nischayev Zeb Khalifov, I am responsible for the exchange. Rishos Agavaya Bekesef. Unlike when I make a Kenyan, so money is not enough. I have to do, if it's a light object, I have to do Agva. If it's an intermediate object, I have to do Mashika. If it's a heavy object, Mesira. Uh, the Gizber acquires something on behalf of Hegdish with money. Or it's just a head yet A Chazaka over here doesn't mean what it cla- classically means, Chazaka, because we're not talking about real estate. We're talking about Metaltalin. So Chazaka uh, means by doing an act of taking possession, as I said, either Hagva, Meshicha, or Mesira. Amirasa Lagvaya, just a verbal commitment to Hektish, if I say this show should be an Ayla, or this uh, beam should go to Bede Kabayas, that's Kamisirasa Lahedit, that's as binding as if I give something over to Rich and he makes Hagva. Because when it comes to Hegdish, it's binding already just with my verbal commitment. Kol mitzvahs haben of All the mitzvahs that a father has to do for a son. Anoshim chayavim. Men are required to do it. Noshim peturis. Women are potters. So that means a father has to circumcise his son, not the mother. A father has to teach Torah to his son, not the mother. A father has to teach a trade to his son, not the mother. A father has to teach his son to swim, not the mother. The kol mitzvahs are of alaben, but all mitzvahs that a child has to do for a father, echad anoshim ve'echad noshim chayavim. Both men and women are chayiv. So therefore, for example, kibbed of, or moira of, Myra would be not sitting in his place, not contradicting his words, not saying, you're right. Covid is to give him food, drink, clothing, help him dress, help him get in and out. Echad anoshim, echad noshim chayavim. That's here both on a boy and on a girl. Which is of kibbutz of aim is equally applicable to a boy and a girl, at least when she's not married. When she's married, so her allegiance is to her husband. Her husband could say, you know, uh, this is interfering in our marriage, and she has to listen to him. But as I've told many a husband in my career of Rabbanis, when he told me, Rabbi Weiss, tell my wife, you know, tell my wife how the bread is buttered over here. I would tell him, you love your wife? So, yeah. You want her to live long? Yeah. So let her do kibbit of aim. So, you know, let her do it. Unless you want, to, you want her to check out. You want her to check out. So. The call mitzvah say, Shaloya Azman Grama. Any mitzvah say that's not limited by time. I skipped. The call mitzvah say, Shazman Grama. Any mitzvah say that's limited by time. Like uh, minion, like tefillin, anything that's limited by time. Anoshim chayavim, men are chayiv, anoshim peturis, women are potter. The kol mitzvah says, it's not limited by time, like mezuzah. 
the mezuzah is 24-7, right? and it's not limited by time, then echad anoshim ve'echad noshim chayyavim, both men and women are chayyavim. The kol mitzvahs loisase, any negative commandment, not to murder, not to steal, not to wear shotness, Bein shazman grama, whether it's limited by time, bein shaloyazman grama, or it's not limited by time. Echad anoshim, echad noshim chayav. Both men and women are chayav, with the following exceptions. Chutz me bal tashlis. The din, this is not talking about food, Rabbi Isai. Bal tashlis means not to destroy the roots of one's beard. So that a man has a lav, a woman doesn't have a lav, a woman doesn't have a beard. So she doesn't have the love of destroying the roots of her beard. Ubal takif, it's okay if she cuts her payas. She doesn't have the love of rounding out her temples. Ubal tatame lamesim, and if she's a koyen, koyenes, she could become tamari to the dead, right? It says emor, right, to the kohanim, b'nei aron. B'nei aron, v'loi b'nei saron. So a woman, even though she's a koyenes, she could go into the cemetery and she could go into the funeral home because the Isra of becoming Tameh is only by a Kayen and not by a Kohenes. Um, the reason why I'm recording now, even though I would have not liked to come back just with a bang and hold everybody up, the reason why I'm recording is because uh, tonight we're doing a double daff.